Very impressive. Whoa! Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a cold one today. Okay, so here at Fuzzy's Tacos, Fuzzy's Tacos? Fuzzy's taco shop. Okay, right. awesome. Something like that. Um, here with Isaac, who is you're you're in the Navy. Yes. So so I have a question for you. How would you describe your experience in the Navy thus far in one word? Well, I mean, I would say challenging. Um, I mean, second, I can go into more detail. But the Navy's not like for everyone. Um, right now, right now is a little different. But it's just something I wanted to push myself, and I definitely did. But right now with COVID restrictions and and it's a little less challenging. But um, you know, being forced to do things is a little different. But a lot of people can't do that. So there's a lot of people that just complain about a lot of things, and uh, you just have to move past that and just you know decide to be a leader. Mm. And, Challenge yourself to be the best you can, rank up as fast as you can, and you know, be a leader and do the job right the first time. Mm. So. That was fantastic. That was a great answer. I love it. I don't mean to sound like a broken record in today's vlog, and what I mean by that is what I want to share with you today from our reading in Philippians is almost the exact same thing that we've been talking about for the last two days as we looked at Ephesians yesterday and then Colossians on Philemon the day before. As I was reading the book of Philippians today, I, well, like immediately what I started to think about when I was reading it was how often in this letter Paul is writing to show the emphasis is to be upon Christ and I, there's a lot of different times that happens here, but there were 13 particular times that I underlined where you see Paul doing this. He's pointing it back to Jesus. Chapter 1, verse 6, which is famously known as, He who has started the good work in you will finish it. And we, we focus on like you and the work in you, but the emphasis really is that he will bring it to completion at the day in, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Like the day of the, of the Lord Jesus Christ is the focus here, not you. Verse 10 of the same chapter, we see the emphasis upon the day of Christ and that we are being made righteous and holy and blameless for the day of Christ. Paul even says his imprisonment is for Christ. To live is Christ and to die is gain. Because when you die, you get to be with Christ. But to live is, is, to, is Christ. It's, it, it, it's all about Jesus. Verse 29 of chapter 1, that Paul says it's for the sake of Jesus Christ. Chapter 2, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. At the end of chapter 2, Paul writes about Epaphroditus, who uh, he actually was near death for the sake of Jesus Christ. That, that this guy was willing to die for the work of Jesus. And kind of the, the, the apex or the peak of all of this is in chapter 3, starting in verse 8. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. You know, even in chapter 4, I believe it's 413 that... That is quoted so often, take out, take out of context, like I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. 
And even when we quote that, usually we think of us being empowered enough to do something really cool, but the focus is still Christ. Like he is the one that enables us. Like I said, a little bit of a broken record, but this broken record is the best broken record that there can be. You can never talk enough about how wonderful and how incredible Jesus is. You can never share enough of him with people. And if people ever get to the point where they are bored with Jesus, one of two things are happening. The first thing is that they're not, it's not really Jesus that they're encountering. It's something else that they're getting bored with because if we're really encountering Jesus, we will never be bored or grow dull of our heart or mundane in any way. Or that person is just, they haven't been regenerated yet and we're waiting for them to be part of the redeemed of God. I have this question for you. What is it in your life that you are pursuing that you think will, whether it's Bring, it'll bring you happiness or fulfillment or it'll fix your problems. Like if I just could go here or if I could just do that thing or whatever it may be. Have you tried Jesus yet? Justice made this for me this morning before I came to the office and he told me to take it, to bring it to my office and I could have it with me. But he wanted me to bring it home later tonight so that he could cut it out for, for me. Remember this? Yeah. Remember you said when I came home you would cut this out for me? Can you do that please? Yes. Thank you. Did you did you finish it? Did you finish cutting it? Here, come here. Here, Daddy. Here, show the camera. Very impressive. Whoa! Oh my goodness. That was my brother. That was your brother. Oh boy.